Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to another episode of the Talk to Tanner Morning Show where we go over tips, tricks, ideas, and exercises to help make you the best absolute the absolute best entrepreneur you can be, not only for yourself, but for the people you love and care about most. You become better for not only you, but the people you love and care about most. You gotta be a little uncomfortable and take that leap of faith. You're in control of the process. I'm here with you. If we don't continue to grow, if we don't continue to move on, we will be sad and upset. everyone we have a fun filled episode and as you can see in this uh in the title below we're gonna be talking about oprah winfrey and some advice that we got from her we're gonna be taking it from the approach from oprah like communicating and helping others like helping trying to help other people so like when you're trying to connect with someone when you're trying to work with someone when you're trying to meet someone when you're trying to strengthen a relationship with someone, it's these tips and tricks can be very helpful for these situations. The first piece of advice when communicating with other people and trying to get on a on the same level, but also to a state to where you can be in a position to really help other people. Number one is remove barriers. This first piece of advice, I want to start with this one because it can be interpreted in a few different ways. Whether this is just putting people on the same playing field, I think she meant a lot about it, was like making sure everyone has the same opportunities, same rights, kind of to be able to move on, or the same headspace. I know for me, sometimes I can see somebody and make a quick judgment, or so I don't give them the chance before I would I'd have a physical barrier up to not accept them for the, who they are or something along those lines. Or I could I could assume that they need help with this when they actually need help with that. And the next one is be present. I like to say giving somebody your full attention is one of the nicest things you can do today. I still think the nicest thing you can do for somebody is cook them a hot meal. But close to number two, would probably be being present and giving somebody your attention. There are billion dollar companies all over the place trying to grab our attention. Like their marketing teams are literally in meetings as we speak over there in Silicon Valley. And they're like, how can we keep them watching? And, and over time, our attention spans have suffered quite a bit, unfortunately. And with this in mind, you can see when you're interacting with people, people look at their cell phones a lot or their other tech products, or they're just off in la la land in general. So we can be very helpful to other people just by not doing that. Ask about them. This is key. What do people really enjoy to talk about? What is the most common word in the English language? It's I. What do people want to talk about more than anything? And it is ourselves. It's our story. It's what we're up to. It's what we're planning. It's what we're going through. All this stuff that's the craziness in life. Asking about them. So being interested in people is very, very helpful. And just that could be our superpower is we remove the barriers. We give our full attention. We ask about them to make sure they're doing okay. And then they are in a state to remove barriers and we can have open dialogue to make sure that we can work with these potential people. So commonalities, finding the common ground. This is one of the most difficult things for people to do nowadays. Unfortunately, everything's so polarizing, even though, okay, side little tangent. I don't believe people disagree as nearly as much as they think. It's just the extremes on, on online platforms usually get boasted and pushed because of negative bias. And so our eyeballs tend to fall to that quickly. In all reality, I don't think people disagree as much as we think. If we just took the time to talk about the commonalities. If you're tuning into this show and you're getting advice from people like Oprah, chances are you're about personal development. Not only for yourself, but for other people. And this is common amongst millions. And imagine if we took the time to find common ground 
with what it is that we're doing. And the last one, one of the most, this one's the, I think the most powerful out of all of them. All of these are very, very relevant, but the last one I think is the most powerful. Move people emotionally. People, how, when do you make your choices? What do you base your choices off of? Emotions. Humans are emotional creatures. This is why people know to get healthy, to lose weight, to not smoke, to exercise. They know it and then they don't do it because we're driven by emotions, not by logic. But the gap between the two, when you know something's right and you keep doing the wrong, that's when you feel a lot of pain and you feel pretty, pretty not good. But we can help people with this by understanding the power of emotions and understanding that people make decisions emotionally. So what is someone into? I, what I think is the easiest way to go about this is figuring out what do people like? What do they like? Do they like fitness? Do they like dogs? Do they like cats? Do they like traveling? Do they like rock climbing? Do they like business? What do people like? Remove the barriers around it. Find out what it is that they like. Be, give full attention to what they're saying. Ask about them on the things that you know that they are emotionally pulled towards and find those commonalities. There's gotta be, man, this is the secret sauce, man, to connecting with anyone, anywhere, anytime and having a good time with it and getting them to know, like, and trust you. So we can take this recipe and then we can apply it to the people who we're trying to connect with, with the people who we're trying to impact, and with the people that could potentially make the world a better place. That's all I have. These are five tips from Oprah herself to help connect with anybody, anywhere, potential clients, your friends, your family, Anyone who you want to have a stronger and better relationship, or maybe you even want to start a new relationship, stick with these and you're going to be okay. That's all I have for today. Thank you for tuning in with us. Another episode of the Talk to Tara Morning Show will be live with more tips, more tricks, more ideas to help you become the best entrepreneur. You can be with episode 218 live tomorrow, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And keep checking out for our six-week challenge.